Hi everyone, welcome to the another video for Fomber tutorial series. So today in this video, we are going to see how to read and the failed scenarios in the test cases. Okay. So we are we are using the JUnit runner class here. So we are going to run this. So due to any reason, for example, the browser timeout or a network connectivity issues or server error, it can be any issues. Because of those kind of issues, we want to read on those test cases. Right. So normally we used to get some error like a element not found or stale element or no such window. So these are all a kind of like an exception. But sometimes you will get the error like a browser connection is uh, failed or timeout error or your network error or server error or it could be any error because of your network connectivity. Okay. Which is not related to our, our steps or our, our execution process which, which we have written. Right. So these kind of errors to avoid those scenarios to execute again. Right. So what we can do now, we can, we can use one plugin called a uh, read and feature plugin is available. You can, you can add that plugin into your runner class file. So which will create capture all the failed scenarios into one particular text file. So that text file can be read. -run. Okay. So now I'm going to use the plugin here. So under the plugin, so you have to use this one, which is a rerun. Okay. This is a plugin and you have to provide the location where the failed scenarios to be captured. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to, you can give any name, I mean, uh, any folder directory within the project location. So for example, I'm going to give it, I'm going to, I mean, store those failed scenarios under the target folder. Okay, under the target, I'm going to have the name as uh, fail scenarios, okay, dot txt. Okay, this is a name that I have given now. So now I'm going to execute this uh, particular feature, which is Bing here. Okay, it has uh, scenario one as well as scenario two. Okay, and now I'm going to run this. So after the execution is done, if there is any scenarios got failed, okay, it can be any failure reason. So if any scenario got failed, so that will be captured as a text file uh, under this target file, I mean target folder location with the name of failed scenarios.txt. Okay, now the execution is not completed. You can see there are two failures, okay, which is expected. Now, under the target folder, I'm going to refresh the uh, project. Okay, as soon as I refresh, you can see something is get created as a failed scenarios.txt, right? This is a text file. And when I go here, uh, you can see it is selling under the Bing feature, uh, scenario number eight and scenario number 13. Okay, it, it is basically a line number. So when I go to this particular feature, you can see, Scenario eight, this this one also got failed, and the scenario thirty, this one also got failed. So both scenarios are failed in this case. Okay, so now we have to rerun this. Okay, so let us assume you in the feature file, you know, like you have like a ten to twenty scenarios, right? So out of 10, 20 scenarios, you might get two three scenarios failed due to some unavoidable reason. Okay, so in that case, we want to rerun only those failed scenarios. We don't want to run again all the scenarios that is in the feature file. So in that case, what we can do, we have to create one more runner class. Okay, I'm going to create one more new runner class. And I'm going to have this as a rerun. Okay, rerun test runner. And again, here also we are going to use the same cucumber option. So I'm just going to copy the same option, whatever we have used in the previous runner class. And I'm going to give it here. So now, usually what we'll give in the feature file, I mean, in the features plugin, what we used to give, we have we used to give us a, our feature file location, correct? So instead of this, what we have to provide here, is we have to provide this location where our text file has been, ex I mean, stored, right? So here we have, I mean, extract the failed scenarios, right, the text file. So this location you have to provide. So I'm going to provide, you have to provide in the at the rate target, Okay, and this is a file name what we have given, like a file, okay, this is a path. So let me copy this and I will give it here. Okay, so here again, if you provide, again, it is going to take and so out of this failures, when you run this uh, read and test runner, right? So we, if any scenarios again fail over here, then again, it is going to restore, okay? I'm going to delete this. So now I'm going to run this.
So here I have to remove one dot. So now I'm going to run it again. Yeah, now it is working fine. So now again, it is going to run the same scenario, which is eight and seven. Okay, so I think here also it will come as a failure only because again and again it is going to fail the same. So let me change this one as uh, Google. So we have two feature files, one is Google and one is Bing. So now I'm going to run this feature. Let's see uh, if we get, get any failures over here. I'm going to run in a, our, our test runner one, which is a normal one. Okay, so this one also I have to change back to Google. I think we don't get any errors here. I mean, no failures. Let's see. Yeah, there is no failure on this particular one. So I'm going to make the failures over here in the Google search. I'm going to uh, intentionally make this particular scenario as, I mean, I'm just adding some keywords here. So now when I run this, it has to fail out of two scenarios. One scenario has to be failed. Let's see that fail scenario is getting captured in my failed scenario text up now. Okay. Okay, so here uh, we have two feature files in the Google feature. Uh, I mean, in the Google feature, we have two scenarios. Out of two scenarios, one scenario got failed, okay? which is fine Cucumber on Google. So now let's refresh this and let's see the failed text scenario has captured only the line number 13 scenario, which is fine Cucumber on Google, right? So I'm just going to open this. So now here you can see it got failure captured only for the particular scenario which is line number 13. This is a scenario we got failure, okay? So now what we can do, we can go to the test run, I mean, uh, read and test failure runner. So now if I run this, so only this particular feature file, I mean, the, only this particular scenario is going to execute from the Google dot feature, which is find Cucumber on Google. Okay. So now if I go to here, you can see it got executed only this particular scenario, which is fine Cucumber on Google. Okay, it is not executing this one. It is executing only this failed scenario only. Okay, so if you want to rerun, so first thing you have to add this plugin. So the plugin is a rerun and you have to provide the text file where you want to extract all the scenarios that got failed here. Then you can create one more test runner for rerun to rerun over all failed scenarios, you can create this. And in this particular thing, you have to provide the feature as wherever your failed scenario got extracted, okay? So in our case, we have extracted to the target. It is not only mandatory, you have to keep it in a failure test cases, I mean, failure scenarios, text file in the target. You can have it across anything, any anything, uh, I mean, anywhere in under your project location at this point. So I have just tried with a target folder. Uh, where this file got extracted and again I'm rerunning by using this uh, same file. So in this case, we have Google. Uh, in the Google, we have used this two scenarios out of two, this scenario got failed. So only that particular scenario we have executed again by using the rerun concept, okay? So this is how we will execute the failed scenarios in the Google. Okay, you can rerun the failed scenarios by extracting in the text file, you can rerun them, okay? So only point to remember here in the sense, you have to add this plugin and when you go for a rerun, make sure you are, you are changing the feature file location into your text file that you have to extract it from the failure scenarios, okay? So that's all about video. We'll see the next topic in the next week. Thank you guys.